Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Moto Soul. Uh, this is my 2012 Hero Impulse and I've done about 15,000 kilometers since I've got it and I bought this in 2018 and I've uh, finally completed 15,000 kilometers on this motorcycle. I did the, uh, I got a new piston and valves uh, 10,000 kilometers back and I have other motorcycles to ride so uh, all my riding is distributed into other bikes as well so that's the reason i had uh you know uh 15000 kilometers in about one and a half or two years of riding the hero impulse so i'm going to talk about the riding experience the spare parts the mods and everything uh let's start uh with the uh, mods so let's start from the front I'm running uh, uh, the Ralco uh, Speed Blaster on the front. This is a stock size tire. And on the rear, I have the Michelin Sirac that is uh, slightly less wider. So the stock size is 110.90.17. So this is 190.17 Michelin Sirac. And the front is the stock size 90 slash 90 and 19 inch. So uh, the X-Pulse gets a 21 inch front wheel and this gets a 19 inch front e wheel and I've also added uh, the spoke skins so you don't have to open the wheel to install the skins you can get different colors so this is like a straw but better quality and gri it grips onto the spokes so to install it you just have to take the spoke skin you can uh, get this from Amazon. I actually got it from AliExpress two years back. So this is how you install it. The installation process would take uh, somewhere around one hour or more than that for one wheel because when it's new it's not as flexible as it is right now. So these are the spoke skins. They save the spokes from getting dirty or getting water onto them this uh, this this straw i mean the skins are so tight that it they don't even allow the water to go inside so it also adds a little character to the bike so i have bought the blue color so i have the spoke skins on the front and on the rear you can the spoke skins are actually longer you can cut it according to your bike this is not just for the impulse you can install this on any spokes um on and different sizes of spokes as well so this is the spoke skins and i've also had the fork boots i've installed this two years back so this saves the fork oil seals from getting dirty and i would suggest you definitely go for this the new expulse has this from showroom but this didn't have the fork boots so this is the folk boots you can get this anywhere between uh, 150 rupees to 300 rupees depending on your city and for the spoke skins i got them for about 200 rupees per wheel so that's about 400 but now on amazon now that aliexpress is no longer functioning the shipping is extremely expensive so you can get this for uh, amazon i think about 500 or 600 rupees for two wheels and I've also installed the Expulse mudguard. This is the inner mudguard. Now it saves water uh, getting onto my feet. And I've also made a video about how you can install the Expulse mudguard. As you can see, this is a full inner mudguard for the Impulse. And the, the installation is uh, pretty much simple. You can get this and this is the direct fit. You don't have to do any mods. So I installed the inner mudguard and then i've installed the as200 visor so uh, this visor is one of the best looking visors for the impulse and we i have used uh, spacers in here to keep the visor uh, on a little bit uh, longer i mean the front angle so normally if you just install the visor onto the uh, original uh, windshield it would just uh, fit right here so the angle would come here right here and when you are riding off-road you might hit your helmet with the visor so i've added 
spacers here now these are borrowed from a uh, uh, sd250 cable meter cable so on the both ends of the meter cable you'll get this so we took that out thanks to everest my bike for helping me latif bhai did the jugad work for me so we took the sd um, meter cable spacers and we painted them drilled two holes and made some uh brackets here this is just an extension one so we didn't have to drill any new holes for the visor these are the original holes for the visor uh, like i said this is from the bajaj as200 so we use two spacers to give the right angle you can use other spacers uh, depending on what angle you would like to see the visor on so we use that and then then we took some longer bolts to install it and it takes the support of the meter so it doesn't wobble as much so this is the visor and uh, it looks pretty good with the visor i've also installed two fog lamps i use these on long rides in night or early mornings and this is the stock impulse meter speedometer so and these uh fog lamps i've also installed a custom bracket for them for them to reduce the shake so these are now stable than before so i've also used that now i also have a um, aftermarket handlebar this is a raised one uh, this is better for long rides you are comfortable with it but this is not good uh, for city riding i mean um, your handlebar would touch the other bikes when you are maneuvering in traffic and also with this handlebar uh, taking u turns is a pain because when you are taking u turns your handlebar would touch your hand so this is one problem for u turn so if you ride a lot in the city and not on highways then I wouldn't recommend this handlebar. So this is just like a regular handlebar. I previously had this on my black RX 100. Then I swapped it onto this motorcycle. I also have a handlebar, the chest protector. So this is just for protection and for looks. And I also have the mobile holder. This is the Bobo mobile holder. Um, so this is where the mobile holder would fit. This is the switch for opening the lights. So these are pretty bright and more than enough for what I do. I've also installed uh, the pulsar indicators. Now the stock ones are uh, not easily available. You can order all the parts um, at the Hero dealership, but I wanted to go for something that would be easily replaceable. So this is what I've got: the pulsar indicators. You can get this for about uh, 90 or 100 rupees, and I also added a switch. for the hazard so this is the switch and this is the hazard and moving on um everything else is stock i also have uh, added some go gopro mounts one here and the other one is here and that's pretty much it i've also added a uh, hero shine mirrors don't have the uh, hero impulse original part uh, i mean the original mirrors and that's about it for the mods and the uh, other everything is else is stock i'm planning to get the ktm exhaust installed on this motorcycle that would happen in the near future and uh, let's talk about the maintenance now i hardly had to do anything after the engine Oh, sorry the piston rebuild i got a new piston and i also got the valves a uh, new valves and got the head repaired so after that i just had to change the air filter i had to change the engine oil and i've been riding for about 10000 km since the piston new piston i got and it's pretty much uh, on a um, low maintenance very low maintenance of the hero impulse you can literally you don't have to spend anything and uh, let me show you all the uh, prices for the spare parts that i have on the bike and thanks to uh, hero nampali 
the uh, dealership name is hero deal well so ganesh bhai is the one who take care of the spare parts and he uh, he's the one who has ordered all the parts for me i've got most of the parts from him and um, in, if you're in hyderabad you can easily go to uh, hero nampali and you can get all the spare parts even if it's not available he'll order it and he'll get to you he'll get it for you in about 7 days so that's a very good thing thanks to the showrooms for supporting the hero impulse and it's very easy for us to ride now let's start with the prices of the hero uh, i mean the spare parts now the stock handle bar uh, is priced about 350 rupees now this is an aftermarket one you can get anywhere between about uh, 250 rupees to 600 rupees and so the uh, stock handle bar would cost anything about uh, 350 rupees that's uh, i think that's very cheap and uh, you know uh, most of the spare parts the prices that i'm saying would be would be you know somewhere around that range now I'm, i might not be accurate but in more in, you know it would be somewhere around that range so the air filter would cost uh, 175 rupees and the silencer shield if you get this brand new you'll get this for about uh, 300 or 400 rupees and uh, the crash guard is for about 400 rupees and the sari guard is somewhere around 500 rupees though you don't need a sari guard on this kind of motorcycle i have this on my motorcycle so that i can use the bungee cords for uh, strapping the luggage and you can get the chain cover for, chain cover for about 300 rupees and uh, the chain kit along with this front and the rear sprockets would cost you about 1700 rupees you can get everything at the hero showroom we are getting everything here in hyderabad at least and most of the parts you'll get everything and um, i've also got a new uh, lock set the lock set with a brand new brand two brand new keys and the petrol uh, cap uh, we, along with the lock and along with the toolbox lock toolbox lock and also the helmet lock and the main ignition so i've got that for about 750 rupees so that's pretty cheap considering modern motorcycles and the modern <laughs> prices that the new bikes have so like i said uh, most of the running parts are very cheap you will you'll get uh, most of the parts uh, for very less price and uh, like i said in the previous video on the hero impulse that the uh, engine parts are uh, interchangeable so the bore the head you can uh, get uh, the cbz extreme bore or head uh, i mean all the parts from the engine are mostly honda unicorn or cbz extreme so yes uh, that's a very good advantage for this motorcycle uh, you can get a brand new carburetor for about 3000 or 4000 rupees if you need it and the uh, rear mono shock is expensive now uh, trust me uh, if you have an hero impulse and if you need a replacement for the rear shock absorber i would definitely recommend the original one that sells for about 7000 rupees and the speedometer is somewhere around 3500 rupees now if you have a hero impulse and if your meter is working uh keep it safe from water the water goes inside the meter and then it ruins the whole meter so then you will have to spend about 3500 rupees for the speedometer and so the rear mono shock is expensive but as you can see this is the best shock absorber for hero impulse you know it's very soft and it's designed for the hero impulse so it's best with this motorcycle so the rear brake liners are uh, direct fit from the passion of the splendor so that's a good thing you can get this uh, rear and mudguard for about 300 rupees from here to the inner mudguard that's cheap as well so the side stand is about 110 rupees so most of the parts are cheap on the hero impulse and maintaining it is even cheaper i would say this is the best motorcycle you can get if you want to go riding off road or adventure this is a very budget friendly option and all the mods that i've done on the motorcycle are uh, practical mods except for the spoke skins and the other mods and riding it for about 15000 kilometers i still uh, have a long way to go and i've recently done a long trip so 
I had zero issues with the motorcycle and it's very reliable and like I said all the parts are interchangeable from the CBC Extreme and Honda Unicorn the clutch plates and everything the clutch rubbers clutch bell rubbers so this is the only four stroke motorcycle that I have in my garage and I mostly ride hero impulses now because of the rising petrol prices this is the um, the best motorcycle for mileage in my garage so this uh, is actually giving me 40 kilometers per liter of petrol so all my other motorcycles are below 40 so that's about it for this video uh, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye